yeah, it's it truly is in some sense it's if we say forgiving yourself it's it's forgiving what you thought you did it's for which means releasing what you thought you did it's um, letting go of all concepts of the self in other words if the, the capital self is just a, a vast experience of love and light then all concepts of self are just they're almost like a mosaic that's kind of pieced together like the tiles that are put together to cover over that light uh, so I feel like part of the process of forgiveness while it seems to be a process is one of exposure of just just noticing self identities which is really noticing concepts and attachments and you're really praying for those to, to come up for those to be brought into awareness that's really the core of it what you're doing is you're really doing that so forgiveness is you might think of it as a letting go while you believe in something other than God that's what seems to be the process is the process of letting go in the end it's not really because you can't really let go of something that you never had in the first place so I've described it more as a as you really open to the correction it's more just a, a total unequivocal acceptance of the correction or I would say it's more in the end it's like an integration it's not really a falling apart or a letting go at all it's described in egoic terms as like a dismantling but then once you actually see it for what it is you get past that turn you see oh it's, it's more of a it's more of an integration than anything else because it's coming to to see one's self as whole and complete and I'm talking more at the mind level of course not not at the personal level is it's this idea of personal integration is just another stepping stone idea too but you know you can when you hear people saying I, I feel more integrated now I feel more whole I want to be a whole person really underneath it they're they're calling out for wholeness and that's just using the terms that they know I want to be a whole person